this is it guys, the new Mercedes-Benz GLE. It's updated for 2020, the model year. As you can see, you have a completely new front fascia. It's quite aggressive, but to be completely honest with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of the design styling of this SUV, especially at the rear. A lot of you guys might agree with me. Uh, it's very different uh, from the old Mercedes-Benz models that we've been uh, really liking over the past few years. And this is the new design styling. They are uh, implementing in all uh, new models, basically the same LED tail lights as on the uh, GLC, the way you have you know, the multi-beam LEDs, uh, the two parts. I personally am not a huge fan of the rear. Maybe it'll grow on me. I'll be checking it out more today. But I don't know, first impressions, not so much, to be honest. What do you guys think? The new GLE is in its fourth generation now, and where's Mercedes-Benz updated design language? It may not be to everyone's taste, but it still is a luxurious SUV with class-leading tech and safety features. The GLE in today's review is the 450 formatic variant optioned with the AMG line exterior package and finished in lunar blue metallic paint. Starting price of the GLE in Lebanon is just above $100,000. Now let's go ahead and check out the interior of the new GLE. So this is completely uh, new uh, for this uh, generation. As you can see, new updated steering wheel. You have uh, two infotainment screens, one for the instrument gauges and the other uh, your touch screen. Mercedes new uh, interface, the new system. We have the Mercedes-Benz UX, which I hear is very uh, intelligent. Uh, I don't know if we'll have the chance to check them out in the showroom today, but maybe we'll do that in a future uh, uh, possibility, maybe. But then jumping straight into the interior, let's just close up the door. As you can see, 12.3 inch screens on both sides. They're the biggest screens I've ever seen in a car. Quite like it. Look at the design here, uh, the four air vents. Now here, it's just, um, they aren't functional, they aren't air vents, they're just here to look good. We have one air vent here on the left. The interior is what you would anticipate from Mercedes. It is loaded with cool options and high quality materials throughout the cabin. This particular GLE gets the espresso brown upholstery and aluminum trim to complement the dashboard. So, sitting down in the new GLE. Now, first of all, these seats are really, really comfortable. I mean, you would expect that, of course, but I really like the way they look. They're all leather wrapped, perforated leather. It's really good looking. The steering wheel uh, feels really good. You have uh, plastic pedal shifters behind that. Uh, everything's piano black on the steering wheel, along with the aluminum trim uh, to control uh, the touchscreen in the center as well as the instrument gauges. And then going on to the center, uh, as I said, I'm quite a big fan of the way uh, this is uh, designed. You have the four air vents, the square shaped, and then. Checking out the rest of the interior, you have two cup holders, quite big cup holders, which can be put on the cold or hot side uh, if you want to cool a drink or make it warmer. And then there's the touch uh, pad here, which I'm using for the uh, screen. It's quite responsive, very intuitive, going through the menus. It's really good, guys. Then you have a place to put your wrist when you're fiddling around with the uh, touchpad. You have the dynamic mode selector to select between the driving modes, uh, parking sensors, rear view camera, and all of that. All these basic stuff uh, that you see in a luxurious SUV. Now, as you know guys, I've reviewed the BMW X5 uh, quite a few months ago. The interior is really luxurious with the uh, crystal glass and all of that. If you'd like to see the review of the X5, make sure to press this button right here. It's a really interesting video to compare it with the GLE. But uh, but, I, but I think this uh, GLE is quite competitive. Maybe the exterior I'm not a big fan of, but the interior is quite nice. Here's the gear selector. It's now uh, sleeker and the new GLE. So as I mentioned, the cabin of the new GLE is nothing short of luxurious. It gets a cleaner and much simpler center dashboard compared to the outgoing model. Gone are the buttons and dials, now replaced with the switches for the climate control and the massive screen. Now there are a lot of fancy options to spice up your GLE. For 400 bucks, you can get the AMG line interior or the wood leather steering wheel for $600. The sunroof costs one grand, the soft closed doors $550, and the illuminated front star for $500. Now coming on back to the exterior, there are some things that I quite don't like uh, about Mercedes, and they've been doing that for quite a few years now, and we still have it on the new GLE, and that is the fake exhaust tips. As you can see here, I can just stick my hand in, it's just plastic. The exhaust is just down below. I don't know why they're doing that. I mean, if they're not uh, useful, why put them? Maybe it's part of the design. It looks good, but I wish you know the you had actual exhaust in there. 
and other things you know also uh, for styling these grills uh, also they're fake moving around the car you have a lot of chrome uh, details the profile of the car looks quite uh, like the old model maybe it's a bit bigger uh, but you have the same uh, design uh, and the tail lights on the side look quite like the old models but then you go back to the rear and you see those um, they're not everyone's taste let's just say that and then uh, moving back to the front of the new GLE it is a very aggressive uh, front fascia I'm a big fan of these uh, LED uh, front headlights uh, we are seeing them in other uh, Mercedes models they're quite aggressive they remind me of the GT uh, four-door they're very similar to that and I like it now the only uh, also disappointment uh, you have a lot of grill down below but then again it's only functional uh, through these bits right here so yes the grill isn't that functional uh, on the bottom portion of the car but I really like the design styling with the chrome uh, in the bottom now new for the uh, GLE this year is that you've got electrically uh, controlled uh, rear seats so you can slide them uh, to the front and to the rear for more legroom so that's quite a neat feature and then scooping around to the trunk of course it's electronically assisted we have seven seats in this example and it's quite good uh, I believe it's, it's to be good for the kids uh, to put them in the back but then again you have more storage space beneath that uh, so that's really interesting you have also a net uh, on the side the new GLE is launching with three trim levels the GLE 350, 350 4Matic and 450 4Matic our tester gets a 3 liter turbo 6 combined with a 48 volt battery to produce 362 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque all models get the new 9 speed automatic transmission for now, the most powerful GLE is the GLE 53 AMG with 430 horsepower from its 6 cylinders. 0 to 100 is 5.3 seconds in this SUV. By now, you probably figured out my opinion about the new GLE, but I want to clarify something before ending this video. As all new cars, it takes time to fully take in the way it looks and better understand it. I've come to actually like the front, especially on the 53 variant. The interior is top notch like you'd want it to be. Now there is still the rear that to me is still questionable. I hope that it will be slightly better on the move. Now trust me guys, I want to like the new GLE, but if I had to choose, I'd still go for the new X5. So guys, that's it for the GLE. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. Until then, take care everybody. See you soon.